reduce your bills through the Tesla virtual power plant. That's what I'm looking at today. And this has existed since 2019. This is not a new thing. It was introduced, I think, in Australia in 2019. And, uh, and then it was expanded out into uh, parts of the US and uh, Japan. And it is now, finally, as of July 2025, available in the UK. Now, it's only available through Octopus Energy. And that's not really necessarily terribly surprising because Octopus have their failings. Uh, customer support isn't always amazing. And they have, like any, any energy supplier, they have the things that they just don't do that well. But um, they are fairly innovative. I recently had an issue with the, um, the intelligent charging on, on my EV. And uh, it was because the manufacturer of the car had increased the security side of things and they got on top of it fairly quick and managed to sort that out together with BMW or whatever to, to they kind of managed I don't know how much they were involved in that and whether or not sort of BMW just said okay here's here's to all you smart kind of like um energy suppliers here's what you have to do I don't know but either way it's sorted now and it only took about like two months or something so it was okay so the whole point of this is that you can earn money just as you can at the moment by exporting your energy. And I'll just click on learn more here so we open it in the actual Tesla website. And this is for only for people with power walls, okay? So if you're someone who has another type of battery, then this will completely won't apply to you. And this whole video is totally irrelevant. But the idea is, as far as I can tell, that they kind of take over the micromanagement side of things that's necessary when you're on like an Octopus Flux. Um, tariff because that's the way the industry is going isn't it exports uh, fixed exports are coming to an end as of august on octopus and it, we're moving away from that fixed 15 pence guaranteed export value and while it is staying at 15 pence for now there's not gonna be any guarantee around that so it's very much moving to a let's uh, let's be able to dump out energy into the grid when we need it. So around or around about that four, five, six, seven o'clock time and keep it when we don't need it. Because these spikes that we're getting in the middle of the day when it's a sunny day, we've got 14 gigawatts of solar export in the UK. Record day the other day, by the way, 14 point something gigawatts. And um, yeah, it's just not needed because we don't need that amount of energy at midday, particularly if we've got loads of wind as well. Wind energy, I mean, <laughs> well. So what they're doing is, of course, saying to people, well, we're not going to pay you fixed export anymore. You know, instead, we want your energy when we want it because that's when we can give you the most money for it and it allows us to balance the grid better. And that's exactly what this is doing. It's just taking over that bit that you need to do manually in order to switch your battery to export mode maybe and um, look at the prices across the day and say and, <clears throat> and know when those price those export prices are going to be higher i.e when people need the energy the most when the grid needs the energy the most and act on all that and i mean i'm i'm kind of all for this in a way because i don't want to do the main reason i have an objection to that is i don't want to do micromanagement i want the fixed export is fine for me because I don't want that micromanagement around the system. I got a home solar system to avoid that micromanagement of messing around with batteries, doing all the cabling myself and all that type of stuff. So this, to me, seems like a really good idea, that they take over and they have communication. In the same way they have communication between my car and the, um, and the tariff, they have communication between the Octopus Flux tariff and my Powerwall. Now... Obviously, I assume I can turn this off whenever I want. I haven't signed up for this yet, but I'm, you know, would I consider it? Maybe, as long as I'm left with enough battery to last me throughout the evening, so I'm never using kind of uh, full, full cost electricity. You know, it's, I want to be able to get all my energy at that nighttime rate and then power my power my house through the day. So I want to make sure I'm left with enough. But well, we'll have to see how that will work. But it's good anyway, isn't it? It's uh, it's it's. It's good news. They're making some big claims here about how much you can potentially get. But there are times of the day when if the wind and wind production is low and it's winter time, that energy prices, there can be settlement periods in the day when energy can sell for huge amounts per kilowatt hour, certainly a pound per kilowatt hour. And the idea is that they then can 
uh, harvest that energy from all these all these power walls. So all the power walls installed across the UK, they just uh, go, right, yep, we've got this much in this one, this one, this, this much in this one, and that can all be automated and brought in when they need it. It's a really, it's a good idea, and a virtual power plant is really the perfect name for it, isn't it? Instead of having one solar site where you have a massive load of battery storage, you just dip into smaller amounts across the whole of the UK. So yeah, uh, I found this quite interesting. Um, there isn't actually much on this site <laughs> to, uh, to talk about specifically, but um, I thought I'd just do a quick video talking about what I know of this product and how I believe it will work. But it's, it's only just been announced to me in an email today. So if I've got anything wrong, sorry about that. I'm sure someone will, someone will correct me, but I think that's the general idea. Let me know in the comments if this is something you would sign up to. Are you happy for Octopus to have all this control and Tesla to have all this control over your products and export the stuff when they choose rather than when you choose? Or uh, are, you, would you, are you someone that would prefer to do that micromanagement and say, right, it's selling for a good price at this time. I'm going to export during this hour. Let me know in the comments and uh, thanks for watching.